Bike parks are like Disneyland for mountain bikers. Whether you're into fast and flowy trails, big jumps or technical challenges, there's something for everyone. And here's some tips on how to get the most out of your next bike park visit. I think it's a really good idea to start off with the mellow trails or even find yourself a flow trail. They're normally really good fun, kind of simple and easy to ride and also get a feel for the conditions, see what the grip's like. So trail centres or bike parks are really good for grading their trails. You can see here, go from the easiest, which is the white, kind of a fire road, green, easy, up to blue, and then it goes difficult, more difficult, up to black, it's very difficult, and then black diamonds, things like that in the US or North America, should I say. So good idea to warm up, get a feel for it before you start looking at the bigger challenges. We have, do have some pretty big drops and stuff here, Cola, bike park. Flying down a trail at full speed on your first run is asking for trouble because you never know what drop or unavoidable gap jump might be waiting for you around the next corner. It's best to cruise down and do a sighting lap for the first time that you ride a trail to check out any features, or if you're riding with someone who has ridden the trail before, then maybe just follow them down, but let them know it's your first lap to avoid yep. any accidental scents. Push yourself and do the gnarly stuff, if you're going to do it, in the middle of the day, or in the middle of your ride, should I say, when you're kind of in the sweet spot of you're warmed up, but you're not too tired. Because, yeah, I've learned the hard way of doing stuff. You know, one last run or doing it to the end of the day is really bad news, so, yeah. Stick the gnarly stuff, middle of the ride. You should find that the features at bike parks are really well built, even the bigger, scarier ones. Nine times out of 10, they just work nicely. But if you're at all nervous or you're not quite sure how to hit them, maybe just hang around, watch some other riders. You should find at bike parks, there's plenty of people riding them. Or follow someone in who's already done it. Having said that, don't be a hero. I like to really push myself, obviously still riding my bike, but I like to take small jumps at a time. Don't just think, oh, I'll go from that green trail and I'll ride in and just jump this, because that's where accidents happen. So try and build it up nicely so you don't lose confidence, have a big crash, get injured, anything like that. Also, if there's a big obstacle, like a drop off like this, I like to roll in, get a bit of a run up, make sure you stop, I I fall off the edge. But so you know what it's going to look like when you're coming in and riding it, and hopefully you can visualise yourself doing it, and then you'll have a good guess of how much speed you need to do it. But if you find you keep rolling in and you're like, oh, I don't know, if you've done that a few times and you don't feel very sort of confident, I would say maybe today isn't the day. You also need to know when to call it a day riding a bike park, even if you're somewhere that's got uplift or a ski lift, the physicality of riding is going to weigh you down. So many accidents happen on the first or the last run of the day, so take it easy, ride the mellow trails that start and at the end. Time for a coffee. There you go, there's a few tips on how to master the bike park. Anyway, time for a bit of rest and I think I'll be back tomorrow to try and do some more mastering. <laughs>